three record holders. <clears throat> Sorry, four record holders arrive in London to celebrate the 2008 edition of the Guinness World Records book. And showing them around town, a man with an encyclopedic knowledge of world records. We've got a new heaviest man who's about 88 stone, um, a new longest fingernail, so it's over a metre per finger. Uh, and we've also got some of the guys who you see behind us. Um, we've got um, the world's narrowest waist at only 15 inches, which is, to give you a good example, smaller than my neck. <laughs> and the woman with that diminutive waist is Kathy Jung from the USA. I think the best thing about it is, uh, is probably the notoriety that you get or the children that will come up to me in the supermarket in the, back in the States and say, oh, I know you. And then their mother will say, don't bother her. And, but, but I know she is. And slicing apples in the air with a samurai sword, Kenneth Lee can do 23 in one minute. It always gives me something extra to push for each day, you know, something extra to work hard and let the other students in America know that there's more to just kicking and punching and, and drawing a sword. Around the world, new records have been set in the past year. This was a hillside near Rotorua in New Zealand, where Steve Camp made the longest Zorb roll ever, travelling 570 metres in a big inflatable ball. Brian Berg from the USA managed the highest card stack, and Jackie Bibby put rattlesnakes in his mouth for 10 seconds. The record for the largest Chinese whispers was set, yes, in China as was the record for the most head spins in one minute, that would be 101. While not far away, the world's fastest office, driven by Ed China, hurtled across Westminster Bridge. He'd earlier managed 87 miles an hour on a racetrack. Not your average water cooler moment if you worked here. Paul Curley, BBC News.